I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a video on isomers. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the author of the Death Destroyer book. I want to go over a question with you on how to write isomers. No one's going to ask you for an exact number unless it's really easy because to tell an exact number of isomers, you would have to either draw them all out, but sometimes they go into the millions or billions and that's impossible without the aid of a computer. So what we want to do is let me show you the technique on how to go about doing it and for the data will be a piece of cake. In this problem, I say to you, draw isomers of C4 H6Br2. I'll draw a few for you just to give you an idea of how we go about doing it. Alexandra, what do you think? How would we go about starting drawing isomers for this compound? Oh, Dr. Romano, I already took my dad. I got a 23 in Orgo, and I never want to have to draw an isomer again. All right. I guess I guess that, was, that settles it. So let me, let me show you how I do it. The first thing, I'm going to go off to the side, and I'm going to take the degree of unsaturation. By doing that, it'll tell me what is here. Is there double bonds, singles, or are there um, rings or triple bonds? So what we do is I showed this in another video. You're gonna count a bromine or a halogen as if they were H's. So this gives me C4H8. Underneath it is the nearest alkane. You subtract, you cut it in half, and there's one degree. One degree means there's gonna be one ring or one double bond. Now, I showed how to do this in a previous calculation, so I want you to make sure you know how to do that. Now, I'll do a few of them for you. Let's start off with the double bonds. So what I can do is I can draw the double bond, and I can say, I can put it anywhere, and I can put my two ring, put my two bromines there, or I can just move them over, there, or I can move them here, I can go all day. And now I'll even move the double bond, as you can see, and I got a whole bunch of different types of isomers. I hope you can see that. There's many more, but that'll give you an idea. How would I go about doing a ring? Well, I can do this, I could do my four, I can have a bromine here, and a bromine here, that's one. Or I could do some fancy footwork like this. I could draw a cis. Or I can draw a trans. Or I can move it. I can move them over. I'm getting excited just writing these. As you see, what I'm doing, I can go all day on this. Or who's to say it's got to be a four-membered ring? Let's spice it up. What if we did a three-membered ring? I have a three-membered ring. And then I have a carbon. I could put a bromine here and a bromine here. Or I can go here. Now it's getting really exciting. Here and here. Or I can go here. I could put a bromine here and a bromine here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I can bang away at this all day. But as you can see, once I did the trick, the gimmick was for me to know that there was a ring and a double bond present. The other ones, I just used a little imagination. I have no idea how many there are. If I sat down, I probably can bang out about 15 more. But all we care about is you understanding the concept. All right, I hope this helps. Go to the Dat Destroyer, and I got a few nice, easy isomer questions for you to look at. All right, guys, that's it. Good luck. See you in study group.